Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, the instructions say factor these polynomials completely. Look for a common monomial factor first. I will do the first one, and then I would like you to hit pause on this movie and try the other two. Well, first of all, I'm going to look at the number parts, the coefficients of each of these terms, and see if I can factor out something that's a common factor. I see a 2 that it would be in common on the outside. So if I factor out a 2 of all three of those parts, that would give me 2 t squared minus 3t minus 10. Actually, <laughs> I better write it correctly. How about minus 20? All right, now I need to factor out this trinomial that I have inside the parentheses. Is there something I can use? Yes, I can use a factor list, which would be for the 2 here. It would be 2 times 1. And for the 20, I can think of that as 1 times 20, 2 times 10, or 4 times 5. I'm going to need to figure out the right combination of those factors that will make it work. So my answer is going to be 2 on the outside, and then a factored version of 2t squared minus 3t minus 20. Can you think of the right combination? Of the right combination? All right, the clue here is the fact that the third term actually has a negative sign on it, which means that inside my parentheses, I have to have opposite signs. So it looks like possibly I'm going to be using this combination of factors, the 2 and the 1 and the 4 and the 5. So I'm going to put in my parentheses 2t and t. That's my 2 and 1 combination. And then I need to make sure that my 4 and 5 have the proper signs on it. I can see that if I do a 2 times the 4, that'll be 8. And then I can have a 5 subtracted. So let's try um, the 4 goes here and the 5 goes here. Now I'm going to need to change my signs so that I have my answer work out correctly. All right, let's use the FOIL method and see if we can get what we started with. 2t times t, 2t squared. 2t times negative 4, negative 8t. 5 times t, 5t. 5 times negative 4, negative 20. Yes, that will give me my proper answer. So, final answer, 2 times 2t plus 5 times t minus 4. All right, hit pause and see if you can factor the following two problems. If you... All right, in the second problem, I know I'm going to have to factor out a 2 out of each term. So 2 parentheses 2y squared plus y minus 3. All right, let's write down a factor list. 2, of course, would only be a 2 times a 1, and 3 could only be a 3 times a 1. We need to rearrange those numbers so that we have the proper combination to get the positive 1y middle term. Did you get it? Let's take a look. Two parentheses. We're going to have a 2y in one place and a y in the other place. And we can put a 3 right here and a 1 right here. And if that works out, that would mean that the 3 has to be positive and the 1 has to be negative. Let's check it with the FOIL method. 2y times y, 2y squared. 2y times negative 1, negative 2y. 3 times y, positive 3y. 3 times negative 1, negative 3. Does that give us the proper middle term? Yes. There's my answer. And on the third problem, I notice a 3 could be a common factor on the outside. So, 3 times z squared 
plus 2z minus 3. Can you factor that? Yes. This will be a little bit easier than the other two. I know that I'm going to have to have a z in both places, and I'm going to have to have a 3 and a 1. One is positive and one is negative. Which one is it? Yes. We're going to need the 3 to be positive and the 1 to be negative because when we check it with the FOIL method, we'd get z squared minus 1z plus 3z and minus 3. We have the correct middle term, and so there is my answer. All right, good job. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.